Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Creator Toolbox. Uh, this is an, a show that we put on for all of you in our community. This is hosted on the ServiceNow Developer Program YouTube channel. But if you have interest in other topics that we are focusing on, you could check out our Zurich blog archive at devlink.sn slash Zurich to see all the content that we're creating for this uh, release season. But without further ado, I will allow our guests to introduce themselves. Um, thank you, Elle. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Olivier Kawagini. I'm the outbound PM for Upgrade Execution Tools. That includes ATF, Upgrades, Instance, Kernel, and the like. Hello, everybody. My name is Ravi Mantrala. I'm the Product Manager, Inbound Product Manager for uh, ATF. Excited to talk to you all. Awesome. And I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Earl Duque. I'm a Developer Advocate here with ServiceNow and bringing our lovely Product Managers here to you all. And today, we are talking about ATF, and without further ado, I'll let them do all the talking. All right, sounds good. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, so today we'll be talking about configurable workspace testing and the new other experience we are bringing to you for Zurich. See if I want to notice, um, don't make purchase decision um, on future or forward-looking statement we're going to be making today. So for configurable workspace, um, this is one of the features we're bringing um, for ATF. And the whole point is to expand um, the amount, the, the number of companies can actually test within the ServiceNow interface. And uh, for, for workspaces back in Washington, we gave you um, support for, for forms, but we are expanding our component support by giving you the authoring experience uh, for workspaces. Um, you can actually validate basic end-to-end -end flows um, with the support. Um, and this support also gives you actions like tab switching, component rendering, and conditional visibility. The current limitation right now, because we're continuously trying to improve and expand our co the components of supported, the current limitations are contextual sidebars are not supported, dashboard and analytics are not supported, advanced UI elements are also not supported, including an also nested component. So, um, the resource link is a documentation page which we will be sharing um, or be accessible on, on our doc page. Now let's talk about what workspace co components are supported that you can actually test in Z with this um, um, update of this release. Basically, we're talking about basic navigation, the landing page access, the tab navigation, and home page navigation. We're also um, giving support for standard UI actions. Basically, you can um, you can use button clicks actions like accept, close a case, or create a case. We also have support for activity stream, so um, posting a comment, um, posting a work note, and also stream validation. And also, we also have a comp um, list operations supported as well. So you can select select a record, you can uh, filter a list, and also search refinement. Um, uh, other notable components are reference fields, model dialogues, and alert messages. So I'll let Ravi um, all up with the demo or show you uh, how to go about this. Awesome. Thank you, Inka, for that introduction. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to show you two different examples. We'll do a relatively simple one first, and then we will also do a slightly more complicated one uh, in the configurable workspaces area. I'm going to use um, I'm going to use uh, what do you call it? asset workspace for this particular demonstration. So I'm in uh, I'm in the test uh, space. I just started a, a simple test here. The first test, what we're going to create is going to be, we will um, create a user, open the asset workspace and validate the header name. Okay. So that's a simple one. So let's get started here. So as you can see, we've added this configurable workspace section to the test step navigation menu here. Um, but before I get there, let's create a user that will work in this particular case. Um, call it CWS tester. will give the role that lets them access the asset workspace. Now I will go choose to create the configurable workspace. So now I want to open up a 
take a look at workspace here. As you can see, you have to copy over the workspace URL that you want to interact with. I'm just going to do that. I just copied over, as you can see, this is just my own uh, employee instance with the Asset Workspace homepage. What, you, what I want you to notice here is when I uh, accept that, what it does is it takes away the, <clears throat> uh, the instance name itself and it keeps the actual workspace name so that if you were to move the test from dev to a test environment, you're not, your tests don't fail just because your um, instance didn't, uh, sorry, the instance name didn't match. Nice. Then, now that we know which page we want to open, now let's go into the testing aspect of it. Okay, so when when I click that, what you will see is we are uh, using our ATF page inspector, and now all of the components that are testable on this page are shown to you on this right-hand side column. It's, it's actually pretty nifty, in my opinion at least where you can actually see what you are wanting to test and you can actually uh, select the components and write your actions uh, that, uh, which i'll show you so in our case just to bring us back we wanted to validate that hey you know when a, a asset user asset workspace user logs in that their uh, uh, the name over here should be a certain thing in this case hardware asset overview Let's just run a simple thing to do that. So I, what I did, if you didn't notice, I just dragged this particular crosshair and put it on the component that I want to see, if, uh, want, want to test. In this case, it is a testable component. If it wasn't a testable component, it won't do anything. So in this case, you see that the now heading, uh, heading is testable. So all I want to do is get text. I would say, There it is. That was a simple test, but it, what it did was it registered the test step that we just uh, put in. Now you can actually see the the test steps that we just wrote. There was a create user, then we open up a workspace, then we tested the, uh, then we opened up the test page. <clears throat> now let's go back to our other page uh, or our ATF test page over here and simply refresh now i see all of my test uh, steps populated over here now it's it's a nicely built test it was a simple one but let's just run this thing uh, real quick that's a much more intuitive way to build the build out those tests indeed as you can see this is running just like a standard ATF test would. I, I, in this case, I have my uh, web browser open with the test itself. You could have run this in the Cloud Runner if you have that app already. It finished the test. Let's let's go back to the other tab. Voila! It says okay, everything went well. So as expected, it was able to open uh, or create the user, open the page, and then test the page. Now, just to, just to save a little bit of time, what I did was I have a another test, so slightly, a slightly more, oh, slightly complicated test. In this particular case, I will, I'll sort of go through this test description in terms of what we did, what I did, uh, and then we'll just skip the, the running part. In this case, what we're doing is we're opening up the asset workspace uh, with a particular created user, and then we'll walk to a, an end-to-end -end sort of a workflow where what we are checking is if this particular person with these roles is able to open up the page and then click several uh, click several buttons. Essentially, get to um, uh, uh, 
transfer order actually can actually get to the transfer order page on the uh, on the file itself. So let me go back and just create a new test. Okay. All right, let's do this again. I'll go back to create. the asset workspace again in this case now we'll go back to my other tab here okay back to familiar uh, familiar page here but this time we'll do a slightly more complicated test like I said so in this case we've we've uh, uh, we created a user now I want to go into this particular uh, operations operations tab over here so for that i simply do this and it identifies the, the toolbar i'm going to select this action from the top the order is the second one so submit that it took that test step as you can see it it navigate. You can actually see your actions that you just uh, went through. Now, the other action that I want to take is I want to go to this, uh, navigate to this transfer orders page. It identifies that as a UXF tab set. I can move to that tab simply this way. Now. I'm able to get to all of this. And if I'm able to, let's, let's do one more thing. Can I open a new transfer order? So that's a record list connected. I am going to, these are the options that I have available. I'm gonna hit new, submit, there you go. So now you've, you've been, you've completed the whole workflow of somebody being able to navigate all the way down to this particular page or not. Let's go back real quick. And I will run that test to make sure everything was working. This is the same exact test that I wrote earlier. I'm going to run this test. you will see that it is navigating through all of those pages that we clicked in the button clicks and the tab uh, changes that we made. <clears throat> awesome. It happens so there fast. Yeah. <laughs> I always want to there, watch it when it goes too fast. <laughs> well, uh, I, I mean, a lot of my customers tell me that they are not interested in watching it because it takes a bunch of time. Right. <laughs> but, uh, but or it's in a cloud runner. and they It's in the cloud runner. Yeah. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So as you can see, we've completed the test. Uh, this is a completely new paradigm from a testing perspective and unlock for a lot of our customers that were otherwise unable to use or unable to test their configurable workspaces. We are super excited to bring this uh, to our customers. All of these components here, uh, you can access them from here. Like if I click this button uh, over here, then it, it tells you, hey, this is the component that you're actually using. So there were two ways of getting to your component. You could have simply just uh, navigated them through here, 
or you could have used the crosshair, like I mentioned earlier. There are certain components, uh, Yinka covered these earlier, there are certain components that we do not currently support, uh, like this one over here, these analytics components currently are not supported, but we are working very hard uh, to bring those in uh, as early as we can. So uh, you can expand the amount of testing that you do on configurable workspaces. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for your time. That was a demo on configurable workspaces. Super excited to hear uh, your feedback. All right, and that is this episode of Creator Toolbox focusing on the workspace configurations, uh, ATF side of things. And we have another episode for ATF in Zurich. Uh, so make sure to check out that other episode on Failure Insights on the same channel. I wanna say thank you again to both of our presenters and have, see you later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.